Good afternoon. I'm George Latimer, Westchester County Executive. I'm here with Deputy County Executive Ken Jenkins to uh, welcome New York State Senator Peter Harkham, who is with us here with a tremendous announcement of resources that he's been able to achieve from the state of New York to benefit our Department of Corrections. We're also joined by our Corrections Commissioner, Joe Spano, and the leader of the Westchester Unionized Correction Officers, COBA, Neil Pallone. And they, too, will be here to talk about what this uh, allocation of money represents in terms of protecting the safety of our brave correction officers who work in our Westchester County Jail. So uh, I want to introduce my friend, New York State Senator Pete Harkham, who can explain the program and the resources that he was able to achieve for us. Mr. Senator. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, County Executive Latimer. It's always great to be back here in the McCallion Office Building. Deputy County, Executive, Deputy County Executive Jenkins, Commissioner Spano, President Pallone, great to be here. I want to thank you all for hosting us and for your collaboration on this project. Uh, it's no secret, in fact, it's well documented that corrections officers have one of the hardest and most dangerous jobs imaginable. They have one of the highest rates of work-related injuries of all U.S. workers. The body alarms that they wear are their lifelines, and also the people in their care and custody, as well as the many people who come into the facility, family members, lawyers, healthcare professionals, social workers, nurses, maintenance workers, just to name a few. That's why it is so important that officers be able to summon help at the touch of a button. And when Neil and the county executive told me that the alarm system that they used in the computer-based technology was over 22 years old, which as we all know in IT terms, that's the stone age, um, I made it a point to find the money, $200,000, to fund the upgrades, because we owe it to the brave men and women who serve in the Corrections Department to spare no expense for their safety. So with this new funding, this $200,000, new repeaters and transmitters in the alarm system will be installed to offer greater pinpoint accuracy in bringing aid to wherever it's needed, whenever it's needed. Again, I want to thank the Westchester County Corrections officers for their professionalism and their commitment to public safety. I want to thank the commissioner, the deputy county executive, and the county executive for their collaboration on this project. And I just want to say I'm really glad that I was able to help in this project to secure the funding to keep our corrections officers and the people in their care and custody safe. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. That's Senator Pete Harkham. Uh, who was able to secure the, the resources that he just described from the state of New York. The person who's going to help implement this is our Commissioner of the Department of Corrections, Joe Spano. Joe has worked in this institution for uh, over three decades, starting out as a correction officer. He has headed the Correction Officers Union. He has gone on to hold the various positions of authority within this, uh, in this particular institution. He's had other experiences in the correction field outside of Westchester County, but he has been a tremendous uh, leader. And he's joined, I might add, <clears throat> by some very talented leaders uh, also in this uh, team that he's put together. Our first Deputy Corrections Commissioner, Nori Padilla, also, our Deputy Commissioners Leandro Diaz and also Deputy Commissioner Reverend Michael Gerald. So with that team of people together, the wardens and the captains and superior officers and the men and women of the Corrections Department, uh, we have seen a tremendous turnaround in this institution, more professional today than before, more respected and highly rated than before, and I credit much of this to the leadership of Joe Spano. Mr. Commissioner. Thank you, County Executive Latimer. You know, um, I'm listening to you speak, and I, I couldn't help think how nice it must feel to walk up to this podium and talk about something other than COVID-19. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but since I, you know, I, I mentioned COVID-19, I want to plug our workforce, who's done a tremendous job maintaining overall safety and conditions during a very complicated two-year period. Their commitment to duty continues to make a difference. 
And as uh, County Executive Latimer said, I've, I've been with the department many, many years, and, and I remember when this alarm system was implemented in 1999, and the impact was almost instantaneous because this system directly impacted the safety and well-being of our workforce and the men and women in our care. And how it works is every correction officer is assigned his or her body alarm and they wear it on their person. And if they have, uh, during the course of their duties, if they have an emergency that threatens them or others, they push a button or they pull a pin. That alarm goes to the main central control center in our jail. They can see the location of the alarm and they can see the name of the officer who pulled the pin. Simultaneously, our emergency response team is notified. And this is a team of highly trained men and women who can report anywhere in our complex, respond in under two minutes. They respond, they assess the situation, and they take appropriate action to safely and humanely control, take control. And it happens so rapid, it greatly reduces the likelihood of our staff or the men and women in our care from suffering from serious injury. And Senator Harcum, you are correct. The system is over 20 years old. And although it has been reliable, technology evolves and it doesn't last forever. And to now be able to enhance this system, which has served to be invaluable for us without impacting the DOC operating budget, it's a great benefit, but know that it's a benefit that every member of our workforce greatly appreciates. Um, those enhancements, you talked about some of them, but it also includes setting up notification in a women's unit control center and a penitentiary control center. So sim simultaneously, we'll know complex-wide when there's an emergency situation. So again, Senator Harcum, really, you know, know that this is going to make a difference. County Executive, Deputy County Executive, you know, your continued support is, has made a difference. And Neil, kudos to you. You really did a great job moving this initiative forward, and I hope that the men and women you represent appreciate it. Thank you. That was our Corrections Commissioner, Joe Spano, and now I'd like to ask uh, Neil Pallone to join us here. Neil is the president of COBA, Correction Officers Benevolent Association, the union that represents uh, the men and women. There's also a superior officer uh, association as well, which uh, Pete DiCara uh, represents, and between the two of them, uh, they go to bat for all of the issues that are affected for that portion of our workforce. And it's a very difficult job to be a correction officer. I think any of us with some humility realizes that it is a special calling of skill and ability that has to be applied in what can be very dangerous settings. So uh, Neil's leadership is to argue on behalf of his men and his women. And sometimes there's always a little management labor discussion that gets uh, more pointed. But he's always been a strong advocate for his men and women. And we respect that. And we work together on this initiative. Neil? Yes, I'm just, uh, I'm very excited and very overwhelmed by thanking uh, Senator Pete Harcum, his team of uh, Greg and Sarah were very influential as well. When Senator Harcum first got elected, you know, got reelected, right? Like I asked, he asked me when we met, what can I do for safety issues to uh, improve safety issues? I brought up about the body alarm system. The body alarm system is very vital to our members. You know, we work pods that sometimes we have 44 inmates on a pod with one officer. God forbid something happens, inmate related or you know protecting an officer. That's our, our safety valve. I brought it just to show it. We got a button to push. We got a, 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 a we can pull a latch as well to get help. It's very important that it's precise, and that's why we're improving things because seconds matter when you're when you're in a life or death situation on both both ends. So I just again just want to. Say thank you to uh, Senator Harcum, County Exec uh, Latimer. You know, when I went to County Exec Latimer, he didn't bat an eye on saying you know, to make this come to fruition. The commissioner for working with the body alarm people, and Deputy County Exec Ken Jenkins for always being there for us as well. So thank you. Thank you, Neil. 
And I'd like to ask our Deputy County Executive, Ken Jenkins, to share some of his thoughts uh, in all of the decisions that are made in this administration. He is the key partner and uh, helps to serve as an important liaison and with each of these different departments. So, Ken? Thanks, George. I uh, certainly want to start with thanking um, Senator Pete Harkham, a friend, as, you, as he said, that he's no stranger to the building, but the level of partnership, and this is another example of that between County Executive Latimer and you know, our entire team and the county's team and our state partners, our federal partners when it's necessary to be able to bring things to the people of Westchester. The County Executive talked this week about things that you don't see and the investments that are made in the protection of all the health and safety of Westchester residents. And whether those are Westchester residents in care or Westchester residents that are doing the job that is so, so dangerous um, to ensure that their safety and can be able to upgrade a facility, upgrade a um, computer system with new technology. 20 years ago, there wasn't an iPhone. So if we kind of think through that particular things, this kind of investment that Senator Harkin is making is essential as things continue on. Commissioner Spano and his team, as County Executive pointed out, are doing a tremendous job, but without those additional resources that come from our friends like Senator Pete Harkin, they just don't happen. And, and President Pallone's um, advocacy to ensure that those men and women that are in under his care as far as the President of the Corrections Officers Benevolent Association are taking care of and making sure that they have the latest and the best is essential. So again, all of those things coming together, the County Executive's leadership and the partnership with friends like Senator Pete Harkin are essential. Thank you, Senator. Thank you. And thank you, Commissioner, and certainly you, President Pillow. Thanks, Thank you. I'm going to check with our communications folks to see if we have any press questions that have come from outside. Uh, any uh, member of the press that's uh, watching this feed are welcome. Uh, to give us a call directly. Uh, we will connect you with Senator Harkham and his team or any of the other people that are here. Uh, you can reach us through Catherine Chaffee at 995-2932. Um, I just want to ask the Senator to come over here so as we close out this, uh, this, this quick press briefing to, to again express my appreciation for Senator Pete Harkham for stepping forward to make the resources available. Uh, this is something that is, is critically important. You've heard the, uh, the leadership of the institution as well as the leader of the workforce of the institution referencing how valuable this is. So what you've done is, is critically important and make something happen. And we don't know which uh, person might have been saved from some injury because the, uh, the critical uh, communications equipment is now going to be upgraded by, by your effort, Senator. And I also just want to say more generally, this, this involves this particular issue and other issues. There's a narrative out in the community that talks about the safety of members of our law enforcement community and tries to paint it in sort of an extreme picture, that there's an extreme point of view here and an extreme point of view is the only alternate point of view. This particular example is one example of exactly how you make different levels of government cooperate, in this case with resources, to protect the men and women of law enforcement. And you should know that when you get a fact like this, that uh, uh, almost a quarter of a million dollars has been identified to help protect the members of our correction officers' uh, workforce. That is, a, that is a real statement of protecting our law enforcement people. Senator, you've made that statement. By making this happen, I want to thank you on behalf of thank a you. grateful county. Thank you. And again, thank my you to partner. Neil Pallone, to Joe Spano, and uh, my partner, Ken Jenkins. Uh, thank you for watching. If there's any questions, we'll be happy to follow up with you. Uh, and we look forward to communicating again as issues arise. I'm George Latimer, Worcester County Executive. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.